Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. The moment we've all been waiting for the men's pro final in the singles competition between Daniel De La Rosa and Rodrigo Montoya. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. This has been a great weekend. 2022 Dovetail Open Racquetball Championships from Sarasota here at the Core RQ. Daniel De La Rosa, number one. Number 13, Rodrigo Montoya. And I want to thank Lincoln for joining us here at the booth again. So Lincoln, your thoughts on this men's pro final? Oh, well, it's been uh, an excellent weekend of racquetball here in Sarasota. Rodrigo Montoya definitely on a hot streak, playing very, very well on his way to the final here. Of course, unfortunate uh, how the semifinal ended for him last night with Moscoso, but uh, playing very, very well. And Daniel De La Rosa, consummate professional as always. He well, finds a way to win. Well, you know what, that's interesting because last year, of course, as you mentioned, Conrado Moscoso's unfortunate injury during that semifinal match versus Montoya. And uh, he was the reigning defending champion of this of this event. So now De La Rosa has an opportunity to stir away from Conrado Moscoso because Moscoso's been stepping on his heels. I mean, you know, racking up all those points, winning the U.S. Open, winning in Pleasanton. And uh, also, you know, he had uh, last week at the Las Vegas three-wall ball, he had um, the w men's singles championship. So Conrado is uh, it's on a hot streak to say the least. But right now, the focus is on these two Mexican players. I want to remind everybody, these two made the final for the men's pro singles in Mexico. These are number one and number two in Mexico. And here they meet on the IRT in the final in Sarasota. Yeah, and uh, just like to look back at the path that both these gentlemen took to get to this final. Montoya uh, beat Rodrigo Mendoza, 15-5, 15-9. Then <laughs> Sam Murray, uh, Montoya handled 15-11, 15-6 very well. And then the, the big win, he uh, beat Andre Perea by a score of 15-14, 15-10. And then against Moscoso in the semifinal. De La Rosa faced Javier Mar. And that ended up going tiebreaker, 15-2, 11-15, 11-5. Then he had to face Jake Bradenbeck, the Viking from Minnesota. Another tough match, 14, 15, 15, 8, 11, 7. And then Andre, uh, against Andres Acuna in the semifinal, yes, semifinal, by a score of 15, 10, 15, 13. So De La Rosa with a much tougher path to get to this final with multiple tiebreakers. Yeah, that's to say the least, a much tougher path, you know. And it's successful uh, because, you know, they played also in the doubles pro and uh, they made it to the semifinals. Let's go to Rocky Carson. Hey, want to thank everybody for coming out to the Dovetail Open, Dovetail Pro Stop. Obviously, this is a big event for all of us, us pros, as well as uh, for, I think, all the amateurs here, and as well as for um, uh, Team Dovetail. Uh, all the things that they've done for our sport, for the players, and the goals that they have for the future of our sport. So thank you guys for making this happen. Thank Dovetail, Team Dovetail, and uh, let's introduce the pros today for the finals. Uh, first time I've ever gotten to do that. But uh, Daniel De La Rosa, number one player in the world, versus Rodrigo Montoya, both of them coming out of Mexico, and uh, looking forward to having a fun match to watch. So thank you guys. Wow, what a great introduction. Doubles will not be played today. Conrado Moscoso suffered probably a, a concussion yesterday, last night in a singles match. So we won't be able to watch that uh, later on today. But uh, be excited for this one. Wow. It's not every day, Lincoln, that we see Rocky Carson giving an introduction. That was awesome of him to do it. Yeah, one of the Ironmen of the sport. Definitely, I looked it up on Pro Racquetball Stats. Thank you to Todd Boss. He has the second most matches played on tour in the history of the sport, only second to Mr. Cliff Swain. Well, you know what? I don't think Rocky Carson is an Ironman. He is the Ironman of racquetball. Such sportsmanship, such athleticism from him, second to none, Lincoln. Right now, we're about to start. Daniel De La Rosa, Rodrigo Montoya, a rematch of this year's Mexican Nationals Finals. Of course, head referee, Jaime Martel, sideline judges, Rodrigo Rodriguez, and Mario Mercado. Here we go, 0-0 zero, zero on the headpin scoreboard.
inside out. So Lincoln, gotta ask you, what are you expecting out of this match right now? Well, uh, Daniel De La Rosa, we know what his game is. He loves his pinches. He loves to shoot from all over the court, front court, back court, always with that shooter's mentality. Uh, Montoya, I expect a lot of passes from him. Play the court position game, try and take over that front court, keep Daniel in the back, and then take advantage of his opportunities from the front. I think that as long as that Rodrigo Montoya stays healthy, he'll have a good match because, you know, he, he had an injury early this year in his right, right, right pectoral muscle. So when he does a forehand, you know, that when you stretch back to hit the forehand, kind of stretch his muscle and does hurt, his backhand is not in question. point for De La Rosa. So Montoya's, you know, I think his ultimate weapon is his backhand. He's a successful player, as you all know, internationally, IRF world champion, IRF Pan American champion, and uh, obviously in doubles with Javier Mar, very successful as well. That's why he goes with the, with the backhand, plays on the left. De La Rosa, wow, what great ball control in the front, just biting that left corner. It's not every day you see De La Rosa go straight to the drive serve from the beginning. That's true. Well, well, listen, Lincoln, I think there's a lot of pressure on De La Rosa, not just to prove and remain as the world number one player on tour, but also for Mexico because, you know, he wants to remain the dominant player. That's a point right there. Skip. Three serving zero on the headpan scoreboard. That's a point scored. So an appeal is called for Rodrigo Montoya. First appeal used. One up, one down. Call stands. Four serving zero now on the head pen scoreboard. Good pass. Side out. Montoya very methodical going up to serve. <laughs> what a great <laughs> shot there for Rodrigo Montoya. Again, I, like I said, like his backhand is just deadly. Same shot, side out. shot it's a point De La Rosa again striking once more there for De La Rosa. Six to everyone. So, so at Mexican Nationals, they faced each other this year in Ciudad Juarez and De La Rosa won in a tiebreaker 11-7. Ace serve De La Rosa 7-1. Yeah, all time on the IRT, De La Rosa leads the series four games to two as well. You know, Lincoln, I think you're right. You know, he came out in the first game just guns blazing with that drive serve. And I think that's the attitude that De La Rosa needs to keep against Montoya. Guns blazing. Full offense. What a fantastic shot by De La Rosa. Wow. 8-1 <laughs> lead now. That backhand is just so smooth. 
so relaxed. So listen to this, Lincoln. In Mexican Nationals this year, De La Rosa, to get to the final, he had to face Andre Parrilla in the semifinals and Javier Mar in the quarterfinals. <laughs> that is not what we call a friendly draw. No, that is not friendly. But I gotta tell you how good, how good these athletes are. They made all three, all three finals. Men's singles, men's doubles, and mixed doubles. All three finals. Of course, De La Rosa played with Alvaro Beltran. Montoya played with Javier Mar. And in the mix, De La Rosa played with Paola Longoria, nonetheless. <laughs> and Rodrigo with Samantha Salas. Point, De La Rosa, 9-1. Very cool to see IRF adding uh, mixed doubles. So a skip serve called by the referee. There's no appeal there by Montoya. Montoya looked at Hamar just to confirm. And he He's does only have one appeal remaining as well at this point. It's all about game management, Lincoln. And you know that's what both of these guys need to do. They need to manage their resources. play called yeah uh, the pass was up a little bit yeah I agree I mean the I think I, I think the referee's correct I mean, Montoya had enough time to retrieve it I mean we all know that Montoya's a great defensive player he's good with, he's a ball retriever that's for sure a serve called and there was an appeal second serve that's a good use of an appeal for Montoya Game management, D Lincoln, what do you think about that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ace there to go up 10-1 would have been a very big point, and now instead he's serving, just trailing 1-9. So trailing by eight, I gotta ask you, Lincoln, what do you think Montoya needs to do? What kind of serve do you think is, would be more effective at this moment? I, I like the wallpaper serve down that backhand side, but the, the Z works as well. Here he has the opportunity. And it's not like Montoya hasn't had opportunities during this match. He just hasn't been able to kill the ball as effectively as Daniel has. Like right then and there, Montoya had a chance. He just pinched that ball, and De La Rosa was on it. And the margin for error between a rollout and leaving up a setup is so small, hitting those pinches. It is. It's a good serve by De La Rosa, however, a better return by Montoya. But De La Rosa has a commanding lead. However, he's still thinking about what he needs to do. Montoya's always been, been one, though, to catch up. Again, at this level, there's no such thing as a safe lead. All it takes is a couple of points, get a little move going. There he goes with the pinches again. A free wall utilized. Wow. De La Rosa's position is so high, all Montoya has to do is hit a pass and he can get it behind him. 
But all I see are two guys not giving up, even in those rallies. You know how sometimes amateur players just give up and say, oh, I'll get him the next one. I don't know. No, these guys are not giving up at all. They're wiping the floor. Montoya, side out. Good shot. Shot backhand. So we gotta ask you, looking, who has the deadliest backhand, De La Rosa or Montoya? Hmm. Am I putting you on the spot? Uh, you, well, that's your favorite game to play, Fabio. <laughs> but straight shot for shot, yeah. I think I might have to go for Montoya. Ooh. It's an avoidable call by the referee. Looks like he had lots of space to me. First appeal used, loss of an appeal. Oh, what a get. And again, Montoya is known to be a great defensive player. Looks like we're going to have a Team Zurich towel timeout here on the floor. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to remind you that a couple weeks, Lincoln, the IRT will be in Monterrey. The IRT Monterrey International Open. That's going to be in one of the biggest cities in Mexico. Eight million people population. The home of Paola Longoria, Samantha Salas, Monse Mejia, Alexander Herrera. The home of Eric Trujillo, the home of uh, Eric Cuevas. That's their home. That's where they train. Most of, a lot of the junior nationals from Mexico are from there. Back to the action. We will be broadcasting live from Monterey. I will be watching for sure every minute. Opportunity missed there. And that's what Rodrigo Montoya needs to do, Lincoln. He needs to take advantage of those shots right there and not miss. One of the things that he's missed is, you know, he's kept the ball sometimes two or three feet high. But right now, those are compelling shots by Rodrigo is going to make him win. That's a good serve. And straight down the line, fundamental racquetball. But setting up that play, like you mentioned before, that high lob Z, just worked well. Again, here we go. I think Montoya found a weak spot. Down the line again, De La Rosa. Missed opportunity. But De La Rosa not particularly keen on cutting off that lob serve. So that's one that Montoya should keep coming back to for sure. A serve called. Montoya takes a timeout at 10 serving two. And as he takes a timeout, we'll take a short break ourselves and we'll be back on IRT Live.
Welcome back, everybody. We're live once again here in Sarasota 2022 Dovetail Open Racquetball Championships for the IRT. I'm Fabio Solo, joined along with Lincoln here at the booth. Rodrigo Montoya take, took a timeout. He's trailing by eight. De La Rosa is up 10 to two. Game number one. And De La Rosa just serving Montoya off of the court here in the first game. I think he has four aces already. Fantastic shot. Oh, a skip right there. Point Montoya, three serving time. Montoya, point again. So it's a good time out for Montoya. Yeah, got a little momentum. Got the pinch to go that time. Down the line. Keep it basic, keep it simple. Checking a wet spot on the floor. Stella Rosa steps back into the box, leading 10 4 here on our head pin scoreboard. Here at the Dovetail Open at Core SRQ here in Sarasota, Florida. Short serve from De La Rosa. Once again, it's missed pinches from Montoya with De La Rosa in the front court. Gives De La Rosa these offensive opportunities. He's got to find a way to get the ball past De La Rosa and force him to the back. out there for Montoya. I gotta tell you, Lincoln, Montoya, even though he's trailing by six, he's holding his own. Ooh, 
Avoidable call. Yeah. Avoidable call. Montoya is not liking it, but it is a call that he's made, and he has one appeal left, so he has to be careful. Yeah. Any, anything in the backswing. What do you think about that? I mean, I agree with the yeah. referee. Lucky. Skip, L listen, what a lucky break there for Rodrigo Montoya. Yeah. Once again, he's going for that pinch, but he's not rolling it, and so that's coming right to De La Rosa but, in the front court. But a down the line shot there by, by uh, De La Rosa would have been an effective shot as well, you know? Yeah. by Montoya so he, Lincoln he kind of called it as a that's a good serve against De La Rosa it's being effective you know he's still trailing uh, you know by five however he has done some damage to Daniel and maybe Dan can think about cutting that ball off I don't know yeah he may have to start doing that but for Montoya it's just one point at a time that's the way you get back in you're not gonna get chunks points you gotta just take one point speaking of cutting it off Daniel could have waited for that to come off the back wall yeah he didn't I think that was the right choice De La Rosa started out on fire. Now he's getting a little more methodical in his approach well, I as think, he you know, settles into this game. I agree with you. I think he's just taking his time right now to figure it out because he kind of, that speed that he was leading by nine at a point. So, you know, he's just thinking about it. Skip shot. A bit more, a bit more cow for him. Remember, Montoya already took his timeout. De La Rosa still has his. Is Montoya losing focus? Is he losing concentration? What's happening? I don't know if it's focus or if it's fatigue. Doesn't look like he's quite getting down into his shots. He's leaving the ball jamming himself a little bit. And that's what's causing him to hit some of these sidewalls. He's being unforgiving. And a little Sarasota bounce off the back wall there. Now's the time for Montoya to get some momentum going in his play. So even if he doesn't come back in this game, just to get a couple points, get some confidence heading into a game two. It's a point. Okay. Ref says the ball was point, down. An appeal, an appeal. Overturned. Replay. Five, three, Replay. Well, that's a good use of an appeal for Daniel De La Rosa. I don't know about that one. Wow, what a compelling shot right there. And that's what De La Rosa needs to do. He needs to be unforgiving, you know, not just tap the ball like he did in the front court. 
you know, sometimes he likes to play the cool shot when he just needs to bear down and fire it in. Speaking of, and there you have he it, folks. It. First game goes to Daniel La Rosa, 15-5 in tremendous and compelling fashion. We guys, we'll be back after a two-minute break here on IRT Live. IDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel that it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. I love racquetball. So, if you're ever out there looking for me, then you will know where to find me. Got a good rally going here. Good serve, Del Rosa. But, if I'm not here, then I will be probably be at home in my office, trying to figure out how to run my new business. The good thing is that the team Willis Accounting and Consulting got my back. With their help, running a business doesn't feel so difficult anymore. Contact Willis Accounting and Consulting today. They will take care of your business while you go back to the things that you love the most. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. I want to remind you, two weeks, IRT is going to be in Monterrey, Mexico, November 16th to the 19th. We are going to be streaming live from over there the home of Paula Longoria, Samantha Salas, Alexander Herrera, Monse Mejia, Eric Cuevas, Eric Trujillo, a lot of the great junior players in Mexico. They all train there, they all live there. It's a hotbed, I gotta tell you, like, it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be amazing. Uh, Mexican juniors have been good for so long too. All these players coming up through the ranks like we saw in the IRT 21 earlier today with Cuevas and Trujillo. It's gonna be compelling, it's gonna be exciting. Right now, I gotta ask you, Lincoln, what does Montoya need to do to take this one to a third game? It's really simple. All Montoya has to do is execute his setups. He's getting the opportunities, but he's pinching the ball back to De La Rosa. He's not making the right shot selections, or occasionally when he does, he's leaving it up. And uh, De La Rosa isn't gonna give you some chances, but you have to take advantage of it. That's true, and you know what, you're right, because execution has not been on Rodrigo's Montoya side as of late, but maybe this can change. During that timeout, he had a pep talk with his partner, Javier Mar. He had a pep talk with uh, Andres Acuna. He got some tips. Let's see if he can execute properly now. 0-0 zero, zero on the head pen scoreboard. right there talk about execution talk about setups Lincoln he did it correctly it's one point yeah, sometimes it's just a little bit of focus you come in you're coming into the final you're a little bit excited hyped up excitement levels there so you just gotta go down focus in and hit your shots what a get oh man the speed from Montoya it's that's never been in question I mean no. his defensive capabilities are really second to none yeah, flying so, coast to coast. So I got to ask you, Lincoln, in term, not to put you in the spot again, <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of speed, agility, who has the edge? Let's see a replay of that. Montoya, right. Again, boom. He's all right, though. Yeah, well, I think Montoya throws his body around a little more often than yes. De La Rosa does. De La Rosa, in his younger days, he would fly all over the court, the oh. same as all of them, but as he's aged a little more, he's gotten a little more selective 
Are you calling him old? Moments. No, I'm calling him selective. Oh, because I am. <laughs> uh, I'm well, sure let's, he'll let, let, let's call him a veteran. I, I wouldn't call him old because I remember from juniors, I was a couple years older than him. So <laughs> then I have to call myself old at the same time. Yeah, well, De La Rosa has been around, I think, for 14 seasons on tour. You know, so it's, it's, it's interesting to see how he's matured so much because when we saw him in his junior years, you know, we, we knew we had a future star. But when he was getting up to the, you know, 19 age, 20 age, we knew that we were going to see a future number one player on tour. We knew all knew it when we saw him. And, uh, you know, here he is right now, number one player on tour. And especially when he teamed up with Alvaro Beltran and uh, get some of the, the guidance and mentorship from that kind of experienced player on tour definitely helped him to get some success early on in his career, and he just built on that. Of course, a lot of Mexican players have learned over the years from Alvaro Beltran, not just De La Rosa, but, you know, you talk to all of them, and they saw Beltran playing all the time when they grow up, and it's, it's, it's just remarkable to see how far they've come. And right now you got two Mexicans playing here in the IT Pro Finals, and I said, and I said it earlier, you know, they are two, uh, the number one and number two in Mexico. They got to three finals, both of them. So you're seeing the best of the best right now. That's an ace serve called by the referee. That's point for De La Rosa. I see no appeals. Yeah, that serve's been working well all game long. Wow, great rally, fantastic, ties it up at two apiece. So he left the setup up, but then he kills the forehand on the run down the line. It's a point by De La Rosa, wow. What a change of pace right now. It's second ace of the second game already. Short one, second opportunity. De La Rosa again, he's striking. Yeah, Montoya's got to find a way to get him out of that front court. Tough shot. Waist high splat from 38 feet. That's the right shot. Montoya looked like he was almost pinned to the wall and Del Rosa just looked at him and he knew exactly what to do. It's great point development from De La Rosa, drawing him over to the right and then taking advantage of the open space. It's a skip right there by De La Rosa. I thought a wide angle pass would have been a more effective shot, but tried to play cute, paid for it. Now Montoya going for that drive. I thought he was going for that high lob Z. Maybe now he is. Wow. Yeah, missed the surf. And all it takes is a little bit of space, a small opportunity, and De La Rosa takes advantage. 
your lob serves, your defense all has to be so on point when you're facing number one player. In the world. That one deep. Point by De La Rosa again. I thought that Daniel was gonna go for a splat rollout to the left. That, that's what looked like it. <laughs> but I got a tail link, and I'm, I'm actually surprised and, and you know happy for a Rodrigo Montoya. We've talked about on the tour how he hasn't really come out and exploded like we thought he would like getting to the international level. Yet he reached the final at the U.S. Open. He reached the final in Sarasota. You know. Maybe this is the time for Rodrigo Montoya to come out on tour and just be dominant. Yeah, yeah. we've always seen him in the IRT excel in the doubles. But uh, he seems to be stepping up in the singles game this year, really coming into his own. And it was a really excellent win he had against uh, Andre Perea in the quarterfinals. court point again little known fact Lincoln do you know who his coach is I do not the same coach as Samantha Salas Alexander Herrera Monse Mejia Eric Trujillo and Eric Cuevas same coach Mr. Yanko Renter here from Monterey he coaches all those players and he started coaching Montoya recently a couple years Point, De La Rosa. So they have a very successful coaching program in Monterey. Montoya is one of the students. He lives in Ch in, in uh, Chihuahua though, but that's not a that's not a long flight from uh, from Monterey. So hats off to Coach Yanko Renteria. Let's take a look at a replay right now. Boom. I mean, I got to tell you, it's uh, very hard <laughs> not to to think about you know his, his defensive skills, and it's just Rodrigo Montoya has been successful at it. That's part of his success in doubles, as you mentioned. You know, that's he's well known in the RT to doubles. Usually makes the final almost at every tournament. Usually. Yeah, and court coverage between him and Mar is just unbelievable. There's there's no part of the court that you can hit the ball that someone won't retrieve it. It sounded like it broke. It sounded like a broken ball. But no, it wasn't. No. Okay. going to the lob Z to the forehand. Wow, De La Rosa just being dominant. So timeout, Rodrigo Montoya at 9-2. We'll be back shortly here with the remainder of game number two on IRT Live.
remember Rafa went to San Luis Potosí to my club to give a clinic, and then Rafa started to play with every kid. Every single kid he played uh, one uh, game to 15, and he was saying, if you beat me, I'm gonna sponsor you, right? And I beat him, 15-14, <laughs> I remember. When you play, I mean, of course you wanna win, but you also wanna look cool winning, right? And the gearbox uh, shorts, the t-shirts, the hats, the headbands, I mean, they are simple, but I like simple. I mean, they look great. John Story joined the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. De La Rosa leading 9-2 in game number two. Montoya, a very similar timeout because Lincoln in game number one, De La Rosa leading 10-2. That's when Montoya asked for his timeout. I gotta ask you, Lincoln, uh, some adjustments have been made on, De La, on, on Montoya's end, but it doesn't seem to be working. What do you think he needs to do right now? I think he needs to play the pass more. He's been pinching a lot, still hasn't been working for him. You gotta make De La Rosa move around the court in a defensive manner, not chasing your defensive shots, but you have to put him on the back foot. I know, a very simple task to accomplish. Of course. but. And the simple pass down the line. That's a good play by Montoya. <laughs> Del Rosa can get a racket on it all the way to the back wall on the right side. Down the line. I just see Lincoln no hesitation on the end of Del Rosa. No. I, I see determination. Yeah, no, and after not winning the last couple of tournaments, I think uh, he's got a little bit of a fire lit under him. He wants to step up and prove that he's still the number one player in the world for racquetball. And we only have one uh, tier one pro stop left in the season. So he needs to finish strong. Wow. A little controversy there. Montoya not agreeing with the call. I want to say hi to everybody watching. Remind him that uh, two weeks from now, we will be in Monterrey, Mexico. November 16th to the 19th, the IRT goes to the Monterey International Open. So make sure you tune in. We will be streaming, and we will be informing you of the developments. And just want to say thank you once again to all our sponsors here, this great Dovetail Open in Sarasota, Florida. Of course, uh, Team Dovetail, Team Zurich, KWN Gutterman, Pro Pin Head, Team Gearbox, and all the great sponsors we have locally here as well, helping to put on this great event. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. Back to the action as Montoya serves. Broken ball. So Daniel De La Rosa, the number one player on tour, for originally from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Of 
course, a lot of great players from there. Andre Parrilla, his sister, Jessica Parrilla, Paolo Longoria, originally from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. But then uh, Michelle dragged him up to Arizona. There you go. <laughs> I love how Daniel anticipated that shot. That right there was anticipation. And he does such a great job when he forces a weak defensive shot, stepping up, cutting it off, taking advantage of the court position he now has, and finishing the point quickly. Another point for Daniel. 11, Montoya's out of timeouts. He's at the mercy of De La Rosa. And De La Rosa is cruising today. That's another point right there, De La Rosa. 12, another 10 point lead, Lincoln. And Montoya's attacking shot once again going straight to De La Rosa. And he just re-kills it. Montoya has just has, right now, no answer for De La Rosa. That drive serve has been putting Montoya on the defensive all long. Second opportunity. Shot side out. Very aggressive choice there. Point right there, Montoya. Point. Much needed point to break the momentum. language from Montoya right now not looking too good definitely not what we expected but look at the score it's just been dominated by De La Rosa and like I mentioned before they went to tiebreaker at Nationals 11-7 What a great point there by Daniel De La Rosa. Let's try to see if we can get a replay on that. Wow, impressive play. Let's take a look. De La Rosa diving. <laughs> Again, boom. 
kill shot dive. I mean, it's not unheard of. We've seen De La Rosa do that many times before. But to do it again here at the final, at, you know, at almost match point, impressive. Yeah, uh, I think he, he feels this is the time he needs to step on the gas and close this out. Leave no opportunity for Montoya to get back in the game. And there you have it, match. Daniel De La Rosa, the 2022 Dovetail Open champion. 15-5, 15-3. Lincoln, amazing match right now from De La Rosa. Absolutely fantastic. He turned on the gas, reminded us why he's the number one ranked player on tour today. And you know what? It's, it's just a dominant score, a dominant outcome. You know, he left nothing, not only not, nothing on the table, but he left no doubt why he's the number one player on tour. You know, a much tougher draw. Uh, on De La Rosa than on Montoya, but be that as it may, this is the result. Yeah, absolutely. He's shown his dominance today, and he's going to take that momentum forward and uh, come to Monterey ready to go in a couple weeks. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Right now we'll take a short break, and we'll come back with uh, player interviews after a short break, and we'll be back on RIT Live. <laughs> IDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel that it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. I love racquetball. So, if you ever out there looking for me, then you will know where to find me. Got a good rally going here. Good serve, De La Rosa. But, if I'm not here, then I will be probably be at home in my office, trying to figure out how to run my new business. The good thing is that the team Willis Accounting and Consulting got my back. With their help, running a business doesn't feel so difficult anymore. Contact Willis Accounting and Consulting today. They will take care of your business while you go back to the things that you love the most. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the 2022 Dovetail Open champion, Daniel De La Rosa. Daniel, first off, congratulations. What a dominant win. How do you feel? I feel great. I mean, it's, it feels amazing to come back to be in the winning circle. But yeah, I have to say congratulations to, to Montoya. He's been playing great. Uh, and then once again, uh, yeah, it, it feels good. It feels good to add one more IRT. And then I want to say thank you to the IRT, to Dobso, to put an amazing tournament. So yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Oh, Daniel, you know what? We've been missing you in the finals, you know? And uh, we're glad to see you here. You look healthy. You look good. Have you changed something in your game to come back to win this final? Uh, I'm just having fun again. Like, uh, I'm enjoying and playing racquetball again and then uh, see all the crowd and then, of course, all the support that I have uh, back home. So it's, it's the things that help me out a lot. Daniel, anyone you want to thank? Any of your sponsor people supporting you? Of course. I want to say thank you to, uh, to Procanix, to Williams Accounting, Donald, they always been with me, uh, Kate Miner, 
Thank you so much, Ruki W. Letterman, uh, Carvana, Jigsaw, and Rich and Green Foundation, and Mayhem too, as well. But uh, I want to say thank you to, to all my family back home in Mexico, Daryl and Ken, they've always been there, and uh, Michelle, and of course, my two little ones that I can just wait to, to back home. And then I want to say uh, thank you guys. Uh, this is my last tournament of the year. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit off for, so I can enjoy my kids for this holiday. So and good thing that I ended up with a winner. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to miss it, and I will see everybody in Austin. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The 2022 Dovetail Open Men's Pro Singles Champion, Daniel De La Rosa. Daniel, we hope to see you again in Austin. And for the IRT, thank you so much for watching throughout this super weekend of racquetball from Sarasota, Florida. I am Fabio Soto for the IRT, and we will see you back here on IRT Live.